Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today as I welcome you to a brand new week. You know, this week has the potential to be something special for you. You might ask me, well, what would be the reason for that, Dr. Gary? And the reason for that is because you're going to make it that way. This week I had a really good viewer, and I say good viewer because this person I know watches all the time. This person is involved in many of the things that I'm doing and, and pays attention and writes me frequently about how they feel about the tune-ups and how they're helping them. And I love that because I like to know I'm helping you out there in some way. And I know that every tune-up isn't for everybody all the time. However, I believe it's like listening to a horoscope. In some way, somewhere, you can watch a tune-up and it's going to relate to you in some way because these are all things that I've experienced myself. It's things that... I understand are happening to all of us anyway and I understand how life moves forward depending on sometimes how positive we are or how focused we are things still happen and this particular viewer brought up a good point and kind of had a story to tell me about one of their friends this viewer happens to be an entertainer an artist singer songwriter and so runs in that realm and that's a great place to be if you can do that at either end of the spectrum you're really helping people you're entertaining people you're relating to people on a spiritual and a feeling level a lot of times and this person said that they appreciated the tune-ups because it keeps them going it, it relates to them in a way that lets them understand what they do is important and also what they do is part of what their purpose in life is and I thought the interesting thing twist on this, or the interesting twist on this particular email I received from this viewer is that he shared a scripture. And I'm just going to look down here so I keep from messing this up. In fact, if you would forgive me, I don't do this very often on the tune-ups, put on my glasses here. But the Gospel of Thomas, it says, If you bring forth what is within you, what you bring forth will save you. If you do not bring forth what is within you, what you do not bring forth will destroy you. Wow. Wayne Dyer also says, never die with your music still in you. And your music is your purpose. Like what I'm doing right now with these tune-ups and what I'm doing with this is part of my music because I love broadcasting, I love media. However, that is not really what my purpose is, but it's fun to do, and I enjoy doing this for all of you. But my purpose is to relate to people and help people get through from point A to point B a little bit easier. My purpose is to help you relate to what's going on in your life. Your purpose is probably very similar, however it may be a different venue. It may be your job. You might be in the stock business and that's crashed and oh my gosh, what's going to happen now? Or maybe you're in the car business and that crashed with our economy and oh my gosh, what's going to happen? I must have to change what I do, re-educate myself on what I do in order to meet my purpose in life. What is my purpose in life? Well, the moral of that story is your purpose in life is one thing. It's the same as mine and that is to inspire and motivate other people around you and live and learn in this life to become all that you can become with the gifts that you've been given. You know, we've all been dealt a hand of cards and we can gripe and complain about those cards all we want and it's going to go nowhere or we can play those cards and see what happens. I have another very good viewer and also a friend of mine that says, you know what, sometimes this positive energy stuff and this positive thinking stuff, I don't know if it makes any difference or not. You know, I've actually thought that myself. However, life is going to unfold, and what you do with that life and those cards that you have is what your purpose is. And your purpose is to get through it, look for the blessings, work with the challenges and learn from them, and keep moving forward and be a good example and inspire the people that come into your life. That's it. Whether you're a singer-songwriter, whether you do what I do, whatever I do, <laughs> however we define it, who you are today matters. How are you using your tools today? And if you're frustrated and angry and pissed off about things, well, that's not going to work. That's not going to fulfill your purpose. You've got to do it with grace. Allow yourself to be graceful and peaceful. Today, we're starting a brand new week. I want you to work with this today and really 
take a look at what do you think your purpose is? You know it's to inspire and motivate other people. Now, what is your venue and how are you going to do that within that venue? That's your work today. And I thank you for your tune-up tips and ideas. This was a good one. I appreciate it from that viewer. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary, purpose-filled day. And remember, there's another one coming up tomorrow. So if this day doesn't work the way you want it to, no worries. Start again tomorrow. Till tomorrow. Bye-bye.